Let me tell you something. Sometimes the people, they are coming and they come even to satsang, sit. And I see that when they speak, you have no power. So you have no power, even here, where you are invited to put forward your most pressing concerns, your most intimate struggles, in order to transcend them, to go over them. And still I see you lost power, you have no power. It's like you are speaking many things. <coughs> no power. And I pondered over it, how it can be like this? How it can be like this? People ask, you know, like, yes, but I don't know if it's my mind or not my mind, and I realize what it is. In life, life gives you an opportunity to come to your apparent boundaries, and it brings you to a point. Maybe in one scenario, it is now your invitation to step across this line. You have enough courage. It feels a bit risky, but life is like this. It's not, it's not always going to be chocolate flavored decisions. Sometimes you're at the edge, now it's time to cross this, and you don't do it. You shrink back. You think you've got away with shrinking back, uh, to hold on to what you consider to be precious, which is drowning you, is suffocating your being, and the opportunity is given, and you step back. And you keep getting, you keep stepping back, and you lose power. And your conversations is just swimming around in stagnation. You will lose power. Because when you're pushed, pulled, called, invited to step forward, you're shrinking away. And every single being uh, is invited into this to advance your being, so to speak. Let's use this word for now. Hmm? And we pull back because you want to save what you consider to be precious, which is just imagined. You hold on to the past. And like this, hmm? you're like on a life support machine. You have no power. When you think it has no power, because it could have been already conquered ground, you're still there. Opportunities will come for you. You must. You are incredible being. You must sense when the moment when your moment is now. Now is your moment to step, take the risk, go. Because the fear is greater than the actuality. Step. When life puts a finger behind you and says, Come, go. Don't keep shrinking back. Because what you will try and save will be worthless. Worthless to you. And you could have a world full, full of so many things you consider to be precious, but they are worthless. In the end, they are worthless. You are to find that which you cannot lose, that will remove all your fear, fear about death, fear about life, fear about anxiety, fear of other. All of this will be washed away. This is the kindness. This is really the compassion of existence. It invites you to this. Take courage. Otherwise, your mind will blackmail you. There will always be some excuse why you cannot step forward. Step forward. Be bold. All this existence is appearing in you. A mighty being dwells within this form. But if you don't take your chance, you will feel as though you are deformed. Reduced merely to a beggar's role. A mighty being is there. Don't be weighed down by sentiments, hmm? trying to preserve uh, the transient. What is real cannot be destroyed. It cannot be altered. It cannot be misshaped. It is perfect from the beginning. What is imagined will never be real. No matter how much you try to decorate it with your sentiments, it can never last. Shake off this weakness.
The mind is meant to be your servant. It's a wicked master. Don't try and even com- compromise yourself with the mind. Look for no favors from your mind. And then mind itself will bend its knees in your presence, but not yet, because you are still confused. Sachitananda Parabrahma Purushottam